morning guys welcome to Monday <laughs> happy Monday happy back to the beginning of the work week Sam cut the grass on Friday and it's only Monday and it has grown a lot so <laughs> yesterday my friend came over and I swear our pig and Ellie are the friendliest little animals they both were on top of her like they both wanted her to love them and spend time with them so the pig obviously can't get in to the goat field anymore so we stop that <laughs> the chicken is following us <laughs> uh oh <laughs> i don't know how but some of the chickens are still getting out of the out of the horse field obviously this is why they want to come in here and lay eggs pig is like nope the goats are attacking me come on ellie <laughs> they're so cute okay you are going outside today update on rosie i just felt her ligaments no udder pop and she still has ligaments last night they were almost gone but i could still feel them and then today they're a little stronger again but that happens when goats get close today <laughs> i'm leaving her out in the field for try number 100 to see if she can stay in the goat field. So ideally, she's going to live with the girls and our boy pig, when we get him, is going to live with the boys until she's bigger and then she can go with the boy goat. And they're gonna get used to each other across the fence kind of thing because it's not good to just introduce them really quick. So my goal is to get her used to being over here. Sam did some fixing offenses. Every other time we've tried to get her to stay in the goat field, she's always got out and she gets in the horse field. And that makes me nervous because even though the goat, the horses have never hurt her, I've seen them all chasing after her. And she's such a gentle, like she would never defend herself. She's just not that kind of a pig. Pigs are like really gentle and she just would never defend herself. So I don't want her to go there and be defenseless. She's not as bad with the goats because they're smaller, even though they have horns, but they, she does run from them and she can run from them. Whereas the horses are a lot faster than the goats. Don't you do that. You be nice. So anyway, come on. You can't see it, but I put a big bucket of water. It's right there. A big white bucket filled it up with nice cold water for her. She took her over there. She had a big drink and she's gonna stay down here but look at the grass uh tilly just chased her off and she's getting really good at realizing that she needs to run so hopefully ellie has to come with me though look the grass is uh, taller than her the grass is so it grew so much this week i knew that this big huge growth was gonna happen soon all right come on ellie so just before show season starts and just before like our first show is coming up really soon so sophie has a lot of work to do and and we're working on that but until that happens we still have cleaning up of the farm to get done so we're still cleaning up this area so i have this to do today it's not a good idea to get stuck in a tire when you're surrounded by goats i hope she's not scared that i'm leaving her i think it's more that she's looking for food no no don't you horn my pig Huh, Cricket? You're so cute. Anyways, I'm gonna leave her out here. So I also am in the process of doing the same thing to the chicken coop. We did the deep litter method in our chicken coop and our goat barn this year. We're never gonna do it again. So I'm still cleaning out those two things. So I'm gonna go up and try and finish the chicken coop. It's really small, not so bad. So I'm gonna try and Sophie and I are gonna tackle that today. I have it almost all dug up. I just don't have it cleaned out yet. And then I'm gonna come down and work on the goat barn and see if I can, whoa! You almost killed me. No, I got in though. <laughs> yeah, we're going back up to the chicken coop. I know where the chickens are going to start laying. Where? You know that box that's like outside the house? Sophie is so good at so many things. No, Let's go outside. I the door. And then I heard something in that box and I was like, oh, there's Which box? There. The one that's to the right of the door. Another thing we have to do today is find the eggs. Let's go egg hunting. Do you want to do that first? I or want to show you where. Okay. Ever since we locked the chickens in the pasture area in the farmyard we've never found where they've been laying so that's like a big thing we have to do today too in that box you think the chickens are going to lay there why was there a chicken in there there was a chicken in there yeah because there's like a basket thing a bucket thing 
It's like garbage. We should clean this out. Leave it and see if they lay in there tomorrow. There's no way they can Mother, lay in there. She's just. She's like. Mm. So even though the chickens are all on the other side of the fence, there's always two or three chickens that break through every day. These are the. These are the only two eggs that I got today. This one's huge. It's a cream color, and this is like the most gorgeous green. It's so pretty. We've never got green eggs before, just blue. I also candled my turkey eggs last night and they all look like they're doing good. Sometimes turkey eggs can be really particular. We got a heritage breed. It's like, I forget the name of it. It's a weird name. They all look good. So I'm hoping to get at least five turkeys, which is so exciting for me. All right, okay, Sophie. chickens get out. Sophie wants to go search for eggs before we start working. Yesterday we, I told you guys all the things that we've like accomplished that were on our list for this summer that we've already accomplished. And one thing that we haven't even started yet is making this into an arena and that's like a big huge thing for us. That's a big job, a big thing. It's exciting, I'm excited, we're all excited. Oh, there's the guineas, one on either side of the fence. I don't know how they get across. Well, that's the, that's something that is gonna happen soon. Oh my gosh, if you ever wanna find a hole in your fence line, cause I would never have seen it till I saw my dog just go through it. Come on, get in here. <laughs> Sophie wants to let all the horses in here now again. They're not supposed to be in that field yet. Honey is a rebel. Oh, storm's ready. You can see like her face is white and then all around her eyeballs is brown. It's like a darker Palomino. Come here. <laughs> She's like, leave me alone. Come on. You guys can go in the grassy area now. Penny will be the first one. She's eyeing that door. She's like, I want the grass. Go slow. Always with the ears back. Come on, Ellie. Actually, honey was the first one. Yeah, honey was the first one. <laughs> Storm's gonna go now. Oh, no. It's gonna be Willow. Willow's number two. Stormy Boy's number three. Don't run. It looks so good. And then Gracie girl. All right, let's keep finding eggs. What I was saying before is that Sophie and Sam have like, like you know how you all have things that you're good at, things that you're strong at? Well, I, I don't see things, like I do see certain things, but like I don't see physically far away very well. Sophie and Sam, they always can find the eggs. I thought maybe they'd lay in here. No. Nothing. No eggs anywhere. Can't find any eggs anywhere and I know they're laying. I got off of the silky and a toad ran yelling for his life. <laughs> so, oh crap, I, it's got blood on me. So, uh, Sophie and I are working hard in the chicken coop. It's a big job, like, uh, it's hard on your back, but I'm telling you now, if you have sciatica, get a Danely belt, D-A-I-N-L-E-Y, or even better, get an off-brand one. I love the Danely belt, it works amazing. It helps my back so much and it lets me do so much more, but it's narrow. So if you're like tall-waisted like me, or even if you're chubby, then it doesn't like cover as much area. Mostly it's the tall. You want like, I want, I want a really wide one that covers my whole hips and down into my pelvis. Some kind of a girdly thing. Anyways, I think that would work better for me. But anyway, we're working along here trying to get the chicken coop clean. I just happened I just happened to look down. And I'm all covered in blood. I have it here. I had it all here. I had a big chunk of it on my like guts on my hand. And I'm like, where's the blood coming from? But yeah, I cut myself and didn't even know. That's one weird thing that happens when you get older. You don't you don't feel things as much. So like it doesn't even hurt. It doesn't hurt. But also if you're hyper like me. If you have ADHD, another symptom that I found my whole entire life is that all like my mind is going a million, my mind is going a million miles a minute. Wow, I'll say that five times fast. My mind is going a million times a minute. So I'm always like thinking so far ahead that I never even focus long enough on the time where I hurt myself that I don't even notice that I've hurt myself. And then all of a sudden I look and then as soon as I look it hurts. <laughs> But yeah, that's like something that has always happened to me with my ADHD. I am always going like 10 steps forwards, 10 steps ahead of where my body is 
is so I never notice when I get hurt or when I get cuts until like much later and then I'll be like how in the heck did I do that maybe everybody else says that too I don't know I just always thought that it was a part of my ADHD because I'm always going so fast when I get those cuts those kind of cuts that I never notice them I washed up all of the rest of our fly masks I really like this one too it's a uh, noble outfitters and it's like super heavy duty Remember before? Well, you guys probably don't remember, but our kids used to fight over this one. My brother showed up today with his stepdaughter and they came to visit the goats, see the babies. <sighs> but we are still working on the chicken coop and we got Sam out here to help us. I know, the chickens don't know where to lay. So they're just laying eggs everywhere. This is what happens. I'll throw it right there. This is what happens when, oops. <laughs> Chickens love ch eggs. I wonder okay, if ooh, what's that? <laughs> he's like, should I come? Anyway, like I said before, the chickens got out the front today. It was just a fluke. Yeah, even the guineas because we're cleaning out the coop and we had to leave the door open to clean it out. We never found the eggs today. Like, I don't know where they're laying them. We found like four or five eggs the last couple of days. We don't know where they're laying them, but I love them in the back so much more than them being out here with people driving in and out. Are you coming back? Anyway, we are getting ready to try the Sophie's horse for the last time um, this week before we decide. I already know. We already know we're leasing her, but she's going to ride her one more time before we figure it out. Um, after we figure it out, after this week, we'll be able to show you guys her. We're super excited about that. We can bring her home or we can keep her at the lesson barn and probably going to leave her at the lesson barn until Sam gets the arena done because Sophie wants to be able to ride her and prepare for show season. Anyway, super excited. Oh, but you know what happened? Some of you guys probably saw it in the comments, but um, when you're on social media, people like lie and make up stuff all the time. And what happened last week was that when we were like saying about how we're gonna lease this horse, somebody posted and said that they owned the horse and they didn't know us and they owned the horse and that they're trying to, they don't want us to, and they don't want us to have the horse. So people were saying like, they're gonna stop the sale because the owner doesn't want us to have her. And the thing is, is that she's not the owner. <laughs> like absolutely 100% not the owner. Nothing can stop the sale of the horse except for us if we didn't want her. But yeah, so it's just weird how like people make up stories and just say whatever they want. I think it's like they want their 10 seconds of, of attention. It's weird about that. Yeah, that happened last week. Literally, Chicken coop cleaning is way worse than goat cleaning. Literally, it's been the longest day. It's been the longest two days. It's like back breaking work. Doing the chicken coop and doing like, where it's taking us so long to clean up from the winter, winter stuff. Like never again, mark my words, never again. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was doing the right thing by letting our animals be nice and warm. The truth is, it was just creating way too much of a mess for us. Oh, how she got in there, but she did. Do you think she jumped out of this? Where did... I didn't hear anything. So she jumped through the bars. Oh, goats That's are so much trouble. Let's put them in that stall and put Mocha in this stall. We have to, because if we go to bed and she jumps in and she's with the mean goat. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> Let's switch them. The light stopped working in that stall too. But we have Rosie over in this stall now. Rosie and Blossom. No, I don't think if Tilly's in there, she won't go in there. No, we shouldn't do it. She was fine yesterday. Uh, look at her under looks almost, it looks popping. Do you guys see it? That's huge. Doesn't it look popping? Okay, let's but, do this. Okay, but when it actually pops all the way, she's like, why are you talking about me? When it actually pops all the way, it gets really shiny and it gets even more full. Like it, it gets so full, like it's drastic, a drastic change. Or with some of our goats, it wasn't as drastic. It slowly filled up. And I can only feel one of her ligaments on one side. Lola's back in her original song. We've been playing musical stall stalls all week. Come on, Mocha, you're coming over here. Lola's happy in there. Yeah, Lola loves that stall. We had to move a cricket. She's turned into this climbing thing, jumping thing. Cricket had started jumping up on top of this thing. We were worried she was going to jump over into that, that stall from up there. That was too high. That's too high. So then we moved them over there because I, I wanted Rosie in here so I could watch on the camera. And then just now, Cricket jumped from here into here through the bars. So, I was like, what's your movement in there? Everybody's changed again. 
Except Tilly. She's Wait, the only one that stayed. Yeah, Tilly stays where she is. I mean, she's in the original school, too. Yeah. All right. So the only problem here is don't let me forget where they are tomorrow, where they go. We have a whole collection of coffee. Yeah. So Sophie says, who leaves their coffee cups down here? Because I don't drink coffee. This is my sister that came last week. This is my brother that came this week, or vice versa. But yeah, everybody just leaves their coffee cups here. Don't you know that you're beautiful?